Hello, I'm Neil Phillip. I've written quite a lot of books about mythology, but never the big overarching book about what myth means that I've always wanted to. And that's the book I'm talking to you about today. At the moment it's called The Hidden Matrix, Myth and the Human Mind. It's a very ambitious book, examining the nature, meaning and importance of myth throughout human history all across the world. And I want to link all that in with neuroscience and evolutionary psychology and anthropology and religion. In fact, I want to explain why myth has been and remains crucially important to us as human beings. I think that the instinct for myth is a kind of factory preset of human consciousness. Myth is the hidden matrix of the human mind, hardwired into our brains. That's why every culture we ever know about, apart from one curious exception in the Amazon, has had its mythology. Its stories of gods and heroes and quests, creation and destruction and everything in between. In George Eliot's Middlemarch, there's a character who spends his life in a doomed, endless attempt to write a book called A Key to All Mythologies. Friends, I am that man. I've been obsessed with myths since I first encountered the Greek myths in Rex Warner's Gods and Men. Um, more than that, I've been obsessed all my life with the quest for meaning that myth embodies. When I was 13 or 14, I had the chance to visit the cave of Altamira in northern Spain. The walls are covered with animals, bison, red deer, boar, horses, living, dying. This was an experience Unlike any other, one of those experiences you seal up inside yourself against the day you might come to understand it. I closed my eyes and let the images shimmer on my lids. In descending into the magically charged atmosphere of Altamira, I was following in the footsteps of an Ice Age shaman on a vision quest, hoping in the stillness and darkness to merge into the spirit world. And in such vision quests, mankind's long quest for meaning began. One thing I have to say is that this book isn't written yet. I've got a couple of chapters and a long synopsis and various bits and pieces, but it will be a good 18 months before I'm sending a finished manuscript to the editors at Unbound. And that means that in asking you for your support to help make this project happen, I'm also offering you the opportunity to accompany me on what promises to be an exciting intellectual journey one that I hope will be neither doomed nor endless.